Well, I must say, flying the Martin Mariner uh, was an aircraft that had a crew of 12, included three pilots and nine crew members. We flew every other night on an average of 12 to 14 hours, and the pilots would alternate maybe flying eight hours and navigating four. So it was somewhat of a tedious, boring routine looking for submarines, looking for downed pilots, and looking for any, any Japanese craft that could be out there. And that part was very difficult. The difficult part about the Navy, in that particular sense, is that every landing and takeoff was in the open ocean. And everyone was extremely different. Uh, sometimes the water would be so smooth you could not get the aircraft on. We used a, we used a product called JADO, which was a jet-assisted takeoff. And we pressed that, and it would kick us out of the water. Sometimes the swells were so large that when you tried to take off, you'd be on top of the swell without enough airspeed in the aircraft, and the swell would drop, and you would drop down with 2,000 gallons of gas sitting underneath you and hitting the bottom of the swell. So it was really interesting, and we would watch each plane take off, and we'd all be amused by the antics that we went through, but that was quite an event, and that was just a daily thing that happened. Uh, some of the combat problems are we had to attack Japanese vessels, crafts. Uh, there's one very interesting thing. Sometimes we come back from a long flight and we had depth charges in our airplane. And we could not land with the depth charges because they could go off and blow the plane off, so we had to get rid of them. We would leave the China coast and there would be an array of maybe 50 junks of Chinese fishermen trying to snare fish in their nets. Well, we would dive over them and, and run right over the tops of their sails and pull away a few miles away and drop our bombs. Well, the minute the bombs hit the water, the, the, the concussion was so bad that all the fish down below died and would come floating to the top, and all the sampans and Chinese junks would run over there with their nets and haul it in. And then they were very grateful that we did that every time we'd come back to land with a loaded ship, loaded plane.